All right, so somebody pinged Skeppy's event Discord server saying, hey, there's gonna be an event in eight. And I logged in and I was told that there was no event and that this guy lied. But since there's over 100 people waiting online for absolutely no reason and that Skeppy forgot to unop me, what if I just hijack this server and then just, I don't know, like ask ChatGPT uh, for ideas and the winner gets one buck. I feel like that's good enough. Slash slash expand 30 up. All right, we got our bedrock shit. So before actually telling anyone that we're going to do an event, we're just going to ask ChatGPT. So ChatGPT, I'm doing a Minecraft event where I trap 100 kids in a box. The winner will get $1. I need you to help me get some people eliminated. It sounds like you're organizing a fun and creative blah, 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 blah. Puzzle challenges. Create small puzzles or mazes within the box. Player who solved them last or not at all could be eliminated. Okay. Okay, more Skeppy style. Ah, going for a Skeppy style event means you're aiming for chaotic, unpredictable, and often humorous challenges that keep players on their toes. Floor is lava. Okay, whatever. We'll do that. All right, so the first chat GPT challenge is don't die. Lava is gonna appear in the floor. One person lava. We're gonna do that until 10 people die. All right, we gotta know that. Oh, come on, it's too slow. I'm gonna spoon some. More, 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 more. Okay, that's one dead. Okay, let's make it harder. That's more on luck, okay? Ah, okay, no more, no dead, okay. I'll turn on PvP. Okay, so that's... Uh, okay, I don't know how many that is. Let's say that's enough. Okay, GG. Okay, time to pull up more ChatGPT. All right, so ChatGPT tells me periodically teleport players to random location within the box. They might end up in dangerous situation or challenging scenarios. The last one standing survive. How is that doable easily? I don't know. I'm not doing that. Annoying mobs. Unleash a horde of annoying mobs. Okay, we're just gonna call that like just mob killing. I don't know. And we're just gonna put a bunch of mobs. That's good enough. Okay. Spawning mobs. Don't go dead. If this event is shit, I blame it on chat GPT. Okay, I'm spawning a lot of zombies. Should probably do other mobs. Oh, one dead. Okay, let's switch with skeletons. Wow, some people are actually dying. Is that too many mobs? <laughs> But why does somebody has like, why does this person have like, they had netherite. That's unfair. All right. I don't know how many players we have left, but I'd say we killed some people. Okay. Now we have crazy item hunt. Announce an obscure items that players must find or we are in a bedrock box. Floor disappears. Random item juggling. Mob mayhem. Hold on. Chat GPT is giving shit ideas. Tight rope walking. Create narrow pathways high above the ground. Players must never navigate these without falling off. Those who fall are eliminated. All right, so we're going to do iron fence and we're just going to tell them to walk around them. Go on iron bars. Uh, do we have everyone? We have everyone. Uh, so what did it say? Create narrow pathways high above the ground. Okay, we have no ground. So let's say that it's high above the ground. So uh, yeah, go around. All right, I'm just going to break this for funsies. All right, PU. All right, I'm just gonna add somewhere here. Oops, okay. It doesn't count for the person that just died. It's because of me. So I'm breaking some stuff so far. Oh, RIP. We just lost three people and I didn't even break one more. Oh, RIP. Okay, that's an easy one. However, I know one will not be an easy one. Hold on. Oh, oops, that's on me. All right, we are losing actually some players over here. That one seems like an art. All right, Pete. Okay, ChatGPT. All right, so now I have around 30 players. Give more ideas. Tightrope relay. Create a series of increasingly difficult tightrope paths. Players must cross from one end to the other. Makes a path narrower. Some that change elevation and others with obstacle that players must duck or jump over. The last few players to finish or those who fall get eliminated. All right, let's do just like what it said. So we're going to put some lime concrete over here. That will be finish line. And we are gonna make a hard one. The end is gonna be hard. I feel like that's hard enough. Okay, fuck off. It's possible. I'm just shit. 
Okay, easy. Okay, we're, we're not gonna do only like fucking iron bars. We're gonna do a head hitter because why not? Okay, go to green. All right, we lost one person. We lost two people. We lost three people. We lost four people. All right, okay. Chat GPT again. Be right back. All right, so mob survival arena. Transform a section of the bedrock box into an arena where waves of mobs are released. Each wave gets progressively harder, provide minimal weapons or armor, and eliminates players who die in the arena. All right, so let's do mob waves. Zombies again here we go i'm opening the doors go zombies go go they're slow as fuck well this person is not in a good position you should go with other people so it targets them i gotta admit that's more boring than i expected oh my god there's a real fight going here it's very tight Th that's a lie that's not tight at all wave two okay i'm doing mob survival arena give me examples of waves i should do they're good players and they're still like 25 classic zombies that's what i did archers that's skeletons how did some of them get cobblestone okay so skeletons skeletons Bro, those skeletons are boring. Can they at least do anything? Oh, thank you. Thank you. You get a golden apple for that. So what's wave three? What did it tell me wave three was? Wave three is my session has expired. Okay, here we are. Spiders scramble. All right, ChatGPT is saying spiders now. Well, seems pretty easy for them. What is this spider doing? Okay, that was easy. But this one is not gonna be easy. Creepers, but they can break blocks which create void. All right, creeper time. Oh, they don't break. That's cringe. Let's pretend that didn't happen. Why is it not doing anything? Okay, whatever. No creeper baboon. Okay, now we're gonna do witches. Why can't I spawn anymore? Why can't I spawn anymore, Mob? This sir is weird. All right, so we actually have like about 20 players left, maybe a little less, and they have a bunch of witches. You're doing a good job. Okay, you're still a bunch. Let me see what Chat GPT has in stock. All right, so we have blindfolded Titro. Oh, so the same thing again, but with blindness. Does that sound like a shit idea? Great, that means we'll do it. Iron bars, slash slash walls. Iron bars, go on iron bars. If I was... Oh, fuck. Nothing happened. So as usual, I'm just gonna make some holes over there. But remember that they cannot see anything. Oh. Oh. Okay, GG. Precision arrow dodge. Players stand on a platform while dispensers fire arrows in various patterns. Okay, then. Time to click on dispensers and see what happens. I shot someone. I feel like people sneaking have like the good strategy, but... Oh. I switched it to lovers and now I'm just gonna spam click and see what happens. Hopefully that goes well. Ugh, I keep opening the dispensers. That's so annoying. Wait. What the fuck? You're only two? I wanted to do a revive, but you're only two now. Hold on. I'll ask ChatGPT. Okay. I did the arrow thing, and now I have only two players. Should I revive a random person? And if so, pick a number. Let's pick a random number. The random number generated is one. Are you kidding me? That's the most boring number you could have picked. Okay. Revive round. So it's a number between one and a hundred. All right. So so now I have three players. What do I do? You can design a final challenge that's intense, engaging, and worthy of determining the winner. Here are a few ideas. Okay, it's Plea Farina. So until last one standing, I guess. Three, two, one, go. All right. Or three players. Or three players are going for very well. Oh, let's just pretend it never was here. Oh, we have one dead. Okay, and it's Skeppy6 and Donk. Our revived person dead. That's not a sentence. Our revived person died. And so we have Donk versus Skeppy6. Who's gonna win? Donk and Skeppy6 are actually attacking each other. They both have their chances. Problem here is that we're gonna get in a, in a kind of hard situation over here. Is anybody gonna push forward? Donk is really hesitant. Skeppy6 is pretending to be AFK, but he actually knows what's going on. 
Oh, oh, oh. Skeppy 6 do be trying. Yeah, now snowballs are still not a thing over here. Oh, Donk is going. Donk actually has more space over here. Skeppy 6 is just closing the space. And Donk is going around. Skeppy 6 does not want that. Skeppy 6 has way more space. Donk, oh. Donk is in a very bad spot. Donk really hesitating about what he should do. Skeppy 6 just wants to be alone on his side. But Donk might actually just... Oh, never mind. He cannot anymore. Oh, actually, he can. He can, he can. Skeppy 6, what are you doing? Skeppy 6 and Donk. Donk really thinking about what he should do. Skeppy 6 just trying to, like, make it so that Donk cannot do anything. All right. Skeppy 6 just realized that there's a three block, three blocks here and he can just... Oh. That's... I'll just put snow everywhere. Oh, 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 and it's a fresh start. And Donk is going around. And Skeppy6, who's gonna make a mistake first? Who's gonna make a mistake first? Oh, why are they both great players? Why can't we just have shit players? Oh, Donk is pushing. Oh, oh, wow. Is it gonna be Donk? Is it gonna be Skeppy6? Oh, wow. That is the most intense spleef game I've ever watched. Uh, what? Why? What the? My switch is broke. <laughs> What just happened?